We've weakened the order. Now what? Now we move on to the next part of the plan. We'll take the order down under the cover of night. I have an Athenian general to speak with. I'll return to the lumber yard to prepare our next steps. Pebble? It's not safe here. I was asked to pass this to you, Eagle Thunder, by a man in a mask. Pebble, you have to go. And don't speak to any more masked men, understand? It's not safe. Yeah. Yes, Eagle Thunder. Man with a mask? Meet me at the graves in Epia. What is the order up to? Smallest doubt can destroy the greatest confidence, and we all have doubts. Eagle bearer, well met. I see you got my note. Hmm, I'm surprised I'm still alive. That could change. Hasty. No need to be hasty, eagle bearer. Let me introduce myself. My name is Yergis, the last Magi of the Order. I've been eager to meet you, Cassandra. May I call you as such? I don't really care what you call me. Confident. I like that. Give me one good reason not to put my blade through your throat. Where is Amorgis? Where is my son? I have the answers you seek, Cassandra. I know what happened in Ahea, in the village called Dime. Dime? What do you know? Tell me! I was there. Things are never what they seem. Your reality is limited to what you perceive. Ride with me. I've been wanting to speak to you. I'll show you how beautiful our world can be. Shall we? One wrong move. I understand. This way. Where are you taking me? Somewhere nice. I want to learn more about you. Move. I don't trust you. I followed your journey from the beginning. I've written quite a bit about you, actually. In fact, some of my most popular work is about the Eagle Bearer. In addition, I've heard of your tales from our friends. The cult? I didn't think the cult made friends. <laughs> Allies then, if you prefer. scattered across the Greek world. I spread the word of our doings, of our heroic yeah. deeds. Heroic? 
You call murdering innocents and burning villages heroic? Nero, the Order sees things from a broader perspective. We do not seek ephemeral yeah. peace. Our work is eternal. Look up. Such promise. You must be wondering why we hunt Let's you. Let's go. I've killed enough of you to have an idea. Ah, you're a force of nature, Cassandra. If you noticed, danger is drawn to you like vultures to a battlefield. And so, we simply cannot allow you to exist. You'd kill someone because of their blood? Disgust me. We are not the enemy. Can you consider yourself? No worries, you are the manifestation of turmoil. Disruptor of peace. Don't be so quick to judge yourself. Look at that view. Messinia. Quite a beauty, isn't she? Get to the point. I know what happened in Vime. How Natakas died. Are you brave enough to hear the truth? I want to know everything. We saw no one at the beach that day. No Natakas, no child. They had escaped. Or oh, so we thought. Until we heard the cry. It was coming from a ship, wrecked on the shore. The soft unmistakable cry of a child. Elpidius. There was nowhere to run. Natakas tried to resist them. It was futile. The baby was all that remained. Find a Marcus. I'm sure he would expect you to try. What do you want from me? Our stories are written by a rare few who have the power to shape them. It's not every day I can speak to someone like you. There are no absolutes, Cassandra. Not even with tainted ones. You are fireborn with the potential to destroy, but also to warm, to cast a light in the dark. A warmth you try to destroy. People die, Cassandra. Eventually, we'll all be forgotten, fading away like a distant dream. Our actions, however, if they're meaningful, will be remembered. Tell me, what do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered as someone who never backed down from a fight, even if the odds were stacked against them. Hmm, insights. Such wonderful insight. Thank you. And now we must part. The question is, will you allow me to live with my life? Before I change my mind. Your baby, Elpidius. He is safe. That much I can tell you. <sighs> it was a pleasure to meet you, Cassandra. 
The next time we meet, we'll likely be the last. Matakas, Ipidius, I'm sorry. 